Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm where I give you a glimpse of what's new in the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of neuroscience where researchers at the University of Glasgow are analyzing human brain waves and beginning to decode how we process visual information. They're doing this by hooking up volunteers to EEGs, then showing them pictures of faces expressing different emotions, sometimes only showing one facial feature and asking the volunteers to describe what they see. By doing this, the researchers are able to observe patterns in brain activity, and will eventually be able to decode brainwave signals. This research has a number of applications, including computer brain interfaces. Our next story comes from the world of evolution, where a recent study by the University of Chicago suggests that random errors in proteins could have sparked the initial drive for the evolution of multicellular life. You see, there are slightly negative mutations that can make a protein less stable. In large populations, these mutations are usually selected against, but it takes longer in small populations, and this can sometimes result in a novel interaction between these less stable proteins. Interactions like this may have been a key in going from single to multicellular life. And from the world of physics, engineers at the University of Missouri have developed a new kind of solar panel that can capture up to 95% of light energy. Compared to current solar panels, which only capture about 20%. These new, thin, flexible solar collectors focus mostly around the infrared and red ends of the visual spectrum, also allowing these devices to harvest wasted heat energy from industrial processes. The team says this technology could work in conjunction with current solar panels and hopes to have prototypes available to consumers within the next five years. Our final story is a bit hard to categorize. A researcher at MIT has developed an algorithm that can analyze almost any complex system and give you the minimum number of points within the system needed to control it. Now, that sounds kind of scary, but it's part of control theory, and this new algorithm has many applications, such as mapping gene expression within a cell, or understanding complex neural networks. And by finding the most efficient way to control these types of dynamic systems, we can understand and develop better technology. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, and don't forget to check all the links in the video description. Thanks.